Good morning, it's day one for us in Tokyo, Shinjuku, and it's already started with a bit of confusion. We got the terminal wrong. We get there, the flight's not showing on the board. It's terminal three. I'm thinking we're going to miss the flight, but we get through. We're here. It was stressful, but we got through. We're on our way to Japan. So we're deciding to get a taxi for about 15 quid. So far everyone spoke a very small amount of English. I thought he wasn't going to let us in at one point. Mm -hmm. Alright, we have finally arrived. It is now about, I think, half past ten at night. We've been on the go since six, something, I don't know. It's been a long, long stretch of day. So we're here in the room. This is about £36 a night. This is what you'll get for, in Tokyo. Obviously, Japan well known for the fact you don't get a huge amount of space. Uh, space is very limited. I think we've paid a lot more in the past for a lot worse. I'm actually super surprised because he kept saying, contact Goda tomorrow. You know, not quite like that, but saying contact Goda for a discount. And we're like, why? Why? And this is in Shin, Shin, I can't say it, Shinjuku. I'm really happy. I think this is a great price. We've got our own space, we've got our own bathroom. Tom, what happened when our room telephone was called? I get a call from a lady downstairs and basically she's saying we've had to cancel your room because you're not residents of Japan. For some reason if you're not residents of Japan you don't get a discount that was actually applied to our to our room. Mm. And I was really shocked by what we were getting for what what was 37, 36, 37 pounds a night. I was like, wow, this is amazing. How wrong oh, we were. Oh, well, it's okay. We're only here for five minutes. Okay, so we've just had a quick breakfast at a place that's just around the corner. It's called Ex uh, Kingston Espresso Coffee. It was very nice. Very, very nice. And now we've decided we're going to head to the really famous crosswalk in Tokyo because it's our first day. We want to see the, the most tourist area possible. Because we're touristy as hell. <laughs> Shibuya scrambles there. there. All the way to the top, just to have a look around. There's lots of expensive stores, nothing we can afford. Even the restaurants we can't afford. But um, it's very nice. It's not overly crowded. Tom, what do you think? I liked it. I like the food a bit the most, to be fair. Like the food that is quite hard. It is quite expensive though, obviously, but you can buy little individual bits of chocolatey bits and stuff like that. They cost about four or five pounds. But it's pretty, it's pretty affordable, the food bits, if you just want to try and order the odd little hors d'oeuvres. The little bakeries are, are quite cool, um, towards the bottom of the shopping tower. So we're heading to Takashita Street. Takashita Street. I can't say it. It's just a street that has really great food and looks a bit mental, so we thought, why not? We'll stop there on the way. But I got my first matcha latte. Uh, always see them, especially in Asia. It's horrid. It's awful. I don't like it at all. It's absolutely gross. I mean, I, I prefer a normal latte, but I wouldn't say it's horrid. No. But um, yeah. got to try it. Takashita Street, and um, there's a lot more. I don't know how you'd say it. Um, themed clothing stores, um, and there's a lot of crepe stores. So I did read online that the crepe store, the crepes are meant to be really good. Whether we get one or not, I'm not sure. 
We've got to get a crab. Alright, we're going to get a crab then. Hey. You're moving around so much. Oh, it looks good. Give it to me, Tom. Marvelous. So that's the end of our day and our time in... What? End of our time in... Tokyo. No, we're here for four more days. What's this street called? Takashita Street. That's the one. Very lovely. Lots of crepes, lots of food. All the food's been great as well. Lots to see down here, lots of food. The clothes shops are actually affordable. So we've come off the main high street where it's all Louis Vuitton, Gucci. And so there's actually like affordable clothes, affordable stuff here. Cosmetics, all sorts of dog cafes, everything like that. It's a fun little street, definitely come down here. Okay, bye. Bye.